His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. Samoy, William Samoy Ruto, the Governor of West Pakot, Honorable Kachapin, the area MP, and uh, other governors and the MP and other officials present, the Minister of Mine and other CS presence. I don't want to take much of time, but I request if you can play that small script which is uh, made for the His Excellency to see for three minutes so that I don't have to speak much. Asansana Pandeya IT. Chimbuko la kiwanda cha maligafi ya kutengeneza saruji Almarufu Klinka kwa lugha ya kimombo Kiwanda cha Simtech Limited Ni moja wepo ya viwanda tajika binavyo milikiwa na kampuni kuu ya Devki Kiwanda chenyewe kina uwezo kuzalisha takriban tani elfu sita miatano ya klinka kila kuchao. Kiwanda hiki chenye damani ya shilingi bilioni arubaina na tano kime wapafursa mamia wenyeji kwa kuwajiri kwenye vitengo mbali mbali. Miku shatembia huko na mugu and I know what Pakot is and I know what people are. It's very peaceful, very nice, very welcoming and they are proud of this project. They love this project and they believe that this project have changed their perception of the Pakot, security of the Pakot and the, and the income of individuals. I'm going to tell you what I'm saying. 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 Aslimia themanini ya klinka inayozalishwa hapa inauzwa kwenye mataifa ya nje na hivyo kuchangia kuinua uchumi wa taifa wa nchi ya Kenya. Ama kwa hakika kiwanda hiki kimechangia kupunguza bei ya saruji nchini. Kama anavyoelezea mwenyekiti wake Dr. Narendra Raval, it will help by not importing we will be able to create more jobs and we will be able to save our our foreign exchange and stabilize our shillings towards the foreign currency for a longer period and we will be never be in the deficit at the moment we always in deficit we always take the loan why because we don't have foreign exchange aidha kiwanda hiki kinatumia mfumo wa kisasa wa kuhakikisha mazingira na bakishwari bila dosari lolote istoshe kijiji hiki cha sebit kilichoko karibu na kiwanda chenyewe kimesisimka mnoki uchumi kufuatia uwepo wa kiwanda chenyewe we were buying land 50 by 100 uh, 200000 to 300000 but for now we are selling at 1.5 offer a million let's say that the factory ametusaidia kwa sababu niko na manyumba or tomb lands ambayo imetusaidia tango factory ingie mambo ya manyumba ikaende juu Mbeleni ilikuwa tasingira tunapata 1000 lakini sasa nyumba imeenda mpaka 2500. Kwanza tuseme tu shukurani. Wacha nishukuru kambuni. Niseme Mungu awabariki sana. Maana yake makasoma wetu ni ni hawa. Wenye wanakuja kwa hii kampuni, madereva, wafanyikazi wapo, wenye wanajenga, kila aina ya customer kwa hapo ndani. Hii town ime grow. E, naona kila kabila wameingia kasi tu inashika tu hii town imebali ilikuwa center lakini kwa sasa hii imekuwa town ile kubwa kwa sababu ya hii kitu hii imefungua mlango kwa uh, investors wengine na mimi kama gavana na pili kiongozi wenye tuko hapa tunawakaribisha investors ninaamini ya kwamba itapunguza hata ile maneno ya watu kwenda kuibia na ngombe kwa sababu sasa watu wengi watakuja katika hii factory na watapata nafasi ya kwenda kuiba ngombe ya watu baadaye kwa sasa wenyeji wamejawa na furaha isiyo kifani wanapokea mafunzo kabambe ili waweze kujumuika na nafasi kadhaa za ajira kiwandani humo so far this plant i have grown i came as an operator but now i have grown to be and uh, section ed we give the feeding program since the day when uh, we give the the food to the school children around surrounding the school we build the classrooms extra in the government uh, schools only and also we give the the teachers we pay the salary so that uh, the more children can be accommodated 
sio siri kiwanda hiki kimepiga jeki agenda kuu ya serikali ya ujenzi wa nyumba za bei nafuu kote nchini the cement crisis which was there or shortage which will disappear in next a week or two Asante sana. Mjambo wananchi zote. Jambo ya sauti hapa nasikia. Rais yetu iko hapa na iko na furaha. Liko anashindwa na hiyo weather lakini mzee kushajaribu sababu ya nini kukuja hapa hata na barabara. He loves us so much. He loves this country so much that especially myself i have no words to say thank you to him god gives him 100 years of life i wish that we have this president for at least for 25 years he no mali angidi iko miaka mingi sana so if we have this each it but lisa i don't want to say much i don't want to take much of his time because he has got a lot of other commitment but i must say that sir we started this journey 6 years ago this factory this place not the factory the land was belong to another company from india called sanghi cement for 13 years the ground breaking was done by former prime minister raila amolo odinga and it was just ground breaking after that it never took off it was little bit shaken but i met them i did ask them why then they came with the reason that the pakot is a very insecure place pakot is very unsafe place pakot iko oda watu haifai kazi pakot iko ata sarkari na lete ile clinker cheaper than what we will produce here so importations is too much these all reasons we don't want to build the plant we bought and immediately within one year after the plans were ready we started the construction here and watu alfutano ya pakot liko na fanya kazi hapo sisi liko na tafuta watu liko na omba ata chief na administrator ya hapa tafadhali patia sisi watu lakini liko na kosa saa ngini hii watoto ya hapa hapa nataka fanya kazi sijui lakini we had almost 4000 children were working here and i tell myself that there is no better place in the world than pakot <laughs> these pakot people sir have taken me as their own son their own father their own brother akuna ada siku moja mimi kushapata shida hapa watu wote nasaidia kila siku akuna kitu ya kuiba iba there is i don't know why we are talking about insecurity mimi nalala hapa jumba yangu iko hapo na toto ya hapa na nataka saidizi yako kuinua uchubi ya pande hii kusema watu wangini kuweka factory ya hawa hapa i am so pleased that the pakot is my family and mimi awezi wacha nini i had a meeting with the wazazi ya hapa ya sabit just two days ago hawa likwa na sema mimi sisi kuisauza mashana wewe na sasa kuisaza Sasa mimi na confused I said my wife is not here so I'm okay lakini mimi bado fanya kitu so is it liko bado alewa lakini sir after half an hour my blood pressure went okay they says ila ardhi na uza dio nasema sisi kuishapatia sisi mashana yetu kwako I was very happy asante sana sababu mimi iko na bibi na kila mali mimi naenda nasema sisi nitaka patia wewe mashana wewe ni mtu ya pakot <laughs> lakini sisi taangalia sasa ile bibi yangu hapa niko hapa sir this project will change the hapa nasema kwa watu ya nje sisi ni familia <laughs> so what i'm trying to say is sir that this factory will change the the perception of pakot the pakot people are hard working pakot people needs the opportunity and we want to make sure that the, they are full of all the minerals but sangini na na angai ka sabu ya maji sangini na angai ka sabu ya chakula sangini na angai ka sabu ya shule 
we will make sure we support the Pakot community. We have already adopted four, we have adopted four schools surrounding Ileiko Karibunahio, Nasisi na Kuisa Anza feeding program, Lazima Watoto Ote Napata Hot Milk Lasiku. Sir, company is not left behind in other CSR, which we do in other part of the country, which we have, we are feeding almost 7,000 children every day last 15 years in the country. This is not something new for us because Chakula Nihaki Kilawatu. Kama mimi nakula na watoto moja ya jirani ya panakula, hiyo ni haramu. Mimi nasema sisi tafanya kazi pamoja na akuda maskiti Maskini, sorry, hapa kwa pakot tapatikana. This project does not belong to us, it belongs to the pakot community. This project belongs to each and everybody of here. Sisi ni wageni hapa, sisi taenda kwa jirani tukula. Siku moja ile mzeli kwa mimi liku wanaenda na patia mimi chai na mayai. Sasa mini ajui na mna gani na kula yo. Lakini, it is the humble food what he offers. I am so pleased to be part and parcel of you. Sir, we have also not left behind in the environment. This project, when we put, we also put the waste heat recovery so that no dust or no heat goes into the environment. We will make nine megawatt power here. Total power we produce in Kenya today is 69 megawatt for our, from our waste heat recovery, including the, the plant which you inaugurated immediately after the election in Samburu, where we have our own 60 megawatt power from the West Heat. Sir, I want to say that my group have invested US dollar one billion in last five years. That is 150 million dollar shillings, 150 billion shillings. Now, I just want to say that a simple thing, why I have done it is my dream is to make Kenya import free. If we don't make in Kenya import free, other and if we don't make it import free, our children, who is, I am also chancellor in Egerton University, we release 15,000 graduates every year. 50,000 re release in Kenya for the graduation every year, they are graduate, but Akuna Kazi. Kwanini, because everybody imports. I was importing billet, I was importing wire rod, but my dream was that I want to make sure that I produce it here so that your engineers, your accountants, your autonapatakas. I want to say that we have plans, sir, to invest in your time, at least in the next four or five years' time, although you will be there for a lifetime, and we will always pray that you are there for at least for 25 years. But it is our plan in the next five years to put up $550 million in Kitui and Nakuru and Eldoret for the extra capacity of the cement. The Kitui is always also neglected because we have all the minerals also in Kenya, in Pakot, but Kitui has got the coal which we have never extracted because of our own politics. Sir, why people are importing? I must confess today that it is only for the propaganda from the business community, which is called KAM, Kenya Association of Manufacturers. Kenya Association Manufacturers have gone away from their everything since last 20 years or 25 years. We are talking about Vision 2030 or 20 by 30, which is just a dream. We are just five years away from that. And we are talking last 15 years that we will be industrialized country in 2030. I had complained five years ago to KM and the Ministry of Industry that we should not import clinker because there is local capacity and we, uh, we should save our foreign exchange and give jobs to our Kenyan and don't export to India and China because these are the family, these are your water, sir. These are the people we need the job. Even if my one of the son, again I will repeat, is, is less intelligent, but still he is my son. Similar way, these are our Kenyans, and they have even less ability. Even if your product has got the less quality parameters than international, they will be able to 
to, to, to make up and to boost to the right quality. But we should make sure, emphasize, we as a businessman, as I just said, that we will never ever stop importation if we are not forced to. We will go and say, oh, e quality ko baya, e ko baya, e akuna production, akuna kitu, akuna kitu koma hiyo. The Kenya has got the capacity to produce everything, including gold. The gold factory can be put here and it will be put by the local industries only. If nobody puts, I will make sure I will put and employ my poor people. <laughs> Sir, Kenya has got the demand of clinker of 5 million ton per annum. While our capacity from today, just you have inaugurated, our capacity as a, as a, as a Devki group is a 6 million ton in Kenya today. By end of 2027, we will be putting the Kitui plant, it should be ready, and our capacity will go to 12 million ton because I want to put there more kiln so that we can become more and more export. This plant, what you have just inaugurated, will export the clinker to Uganda and Rwanda and Sudan for $200 million every year. Why we will export is because we have the excess capacity, because Kenya cannot take. The other manufacturer is also manufacturing the clinker. And similar way, we want to do even in the steel. We produce a million ton of steel, but the demand of Kenya is less than 300,000 to 400,000 tons. We will make sure that we produce the most, and we are producing the most, durable and the quality still in, in Samburu. Sir, I don't want to talk about that. What I pay, I must tell you because I think the government is interested, what do I pay in the tax? So, <laughs> so sir, by taxes, I am a pastor. Mimi ikona watoto tatu. Iwata ni toto yangu. Mimi asitaki pesa. I want to change their life in my lifetime. I pay Two, I pay two billion shillings as a company every month to government, not in the income tax only, income tax ni Misha America, but this is only NSSF, NHIF, and other taxes. A two billion, that means almost a hundred million a day. I pay one over one billion shillings to Kenya Power every month. That is three billion shillings. That is hundred million shillings kilasiku. Ada kama mina lala na davuta yo pesa to kilasiku. I thank my bankers to be faithful on me and faith uh, and, and keeping trust on me because he pesa aweze kupatikana sir i could have me could i could have me kusha karibu kuenda jumani if you had not come as a president <laughs> kenya railway we pay 75 million shillings every month I want to pay them 200 million, but they don't have the locomotives. If you give them the lo I will pay for the locomotive, if you allow me. If we give them locomotive, I want to revive that Kenya Railway. All our factories, we have put the railway slidings. We, there is a hundred thousands of people are working in Kenya Railway, and you have a wonderful staff in Kenya Railway. They do everything to transport the goods, but they need the locomotive because so that we can save our roads and we can, we can survive with the railway and our people continue to work in Kenya Railway. is Garibu Kufaru. The government policy which I already spoken, sir, I, uh, Your Excellency, you had given me the time in the, your, from your busy schedule. I am very thankful to you. I want to thank my my bankers, I must think every time. If I don't, then Nikoshida. Uh, especially, I want to thank you, my customers, my suppliers, invited guests, banks, financiers, that is IFC, KCB, I think CEO Paul Russo is here, Asante Sana, who support. I am your customer last 40 years. Please, inter interest should be reduced, Tafadali. <laughs> EPSA Bank, Standard Charter Bank, NCBA, the INM Bank, Standard Bank of Baroda, uh, the managing director is here, who supported also this project. I am thankful to all my bankers, and the, I don't want to miss the opportunity to say thank you very much, Honorable Governor of uh, Pakot, uh, Honorable Kachapi. You have a wonderful governor who has really held, hold my hands and says, if you have any problem, Tafadali, you can call me anytime. Thank you very much, sir. And because of the, your support, we are here to, to complete our project.
the local community, I have no words to say thank you, but only tasema kituku kidogo that mimi kona nini. Mimi awezi wacha, please tafadali, saidia sisi na saidia na ata kama jirani iko na shida, iko ya charo office hapa, aleza sisi tajaribu kusaidia wa. I also take this opportunity to thank my wife and uh, sir, you know, when I was in standard seven, I read somewhere that the uh, successful man behind him is a woman. There is a woman behind him. But the problem is from that day, I lost the concentration on study and started looking for the woman. <laughs> but then I learned that then I learned that if you are, you can keep on trying and you may not be successful, then you can keep on changing the women standing behind you. <laughs> but I never did it. I stood, stood by my wife. She always supported me, sir. And she is humble. She is the one who is handling more and more CSR. She doesn't ask me why you are not putting the project and why you are not doing more business. But she always tells me, how many children you have feeded today? How many people's problem you have sorted out today? What you did for the country? What you did for the Wanaichi of Kenya? And I am, my all children is the same. They all, I, I, I really want to say that we are blessed to have such a nice family and the entire Pokot family is my family. Sir, if you allow me, I want to request to my wife if you can present a small gift Maybe, but I, okay, Sawa, Asan Sana, I really want to invite uh, uh, the, the CS of uh, industry, if she can say some word on the industry that we need to stop this importation, madam, for a lifetime. Thank you, sir.